we have a lot of creative things here at um, Glen Home, and I'm deeply involved in our new arts center. I dance a lot and involve that in the shows that we do. Okay. When I dance, I make films out of it sometimes, and I do a bit of filming and play around with special effects, but a lot of kids here are all very into um, vocational skills like computers and mechanics, and they can have a feature in that if they still have trouble in their academics. Well, I, I feel the, um, the teachers are extremely understanding and definitely will find what you have trouble with and work with you on that before they go into shoving material in your face or making you like do your homework or do whatever. Like they'll accommodate to you whatever your needs are. Out of all the aspects of Glen Home, the teachers would probably be my favorite. They're they're just um the support they give and the energy they have. It's just different from any other teacher you'd expect at a public school or just any other school I've ever been. Because they never, they never really um, come in and say, "Oh, I've had a bad day," or "I'm I'm kind of groggy today." I'm gonna, you know, we'll we'll take it easy. That they're just always to, they're always willing to help and give and just have endless positive encouragement. And it just, it helps us all, because we all come in with our ups and downs, and we get through it together. To stay active, I go to the fitness center a lot, which is really, really nice. We have um, various machines and free weights, and when I came into Glen Home, I didn't know anything about weightlifting or which machines worked which muscles, but... The fitness director, he taught me a lot about it, and through that I've used the fitness center to get a lot of my energy out if I've had a stressful day or something like that. Easily half the campus is involved in the arts somehow, and I've seen kids who perform, and then I've seen kids who don't, who have been brought into like the chorus or the school show, and then after that they've seen, you know, maybe it's the, the smile on their parents' face or the, the applause they get, but then they notice, like, how much they actually liked it and how much all the discipline and work they put into it, like, really counted for. And sooner or later they end up finding, like, a passion or, like, just something deeper than that that they can take out all their you know, their their excess anger or their, you know, they can say like, oh, I have a lot of homework and that's annoying, but, you know, first I get to get this treat by going to the arts center and singing with all my friends or something like that. But I just, I, I think, I mean, even besides the arts center with sports too, there, there's kids that just have like an hour conversation with one of the staff who volunteered to run the the basketball team and they just they get so involved and and you know we notice that it's more about the you know the love for it and teamwork and just like you know f getting good at something and fine tuning it and dedication and all that besides actually winning all the time or getting the glory or all that and you know we get like the real the core values of teamwork and all that and throughout the years kids become really good and they actually end up going somewhere with it or something like that we recently had a student who graduated and is actually like making records and this whole arts building just just open open doors for all of it. Now we're doing the the Wizard of Oz, and that's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm pretty excited. I I actually worked hard with my audition and all that, and 
I got the Scarecrow. So that's going to be a lot of a lot of excitement and working on the movement and all that. So that's that's just that's a uh, that's definitely an uh, an up point and a a bonus for all the for all the kids to have.